hold our assistant button show me the front doorbell got it streaming front doorbell on living room tv ah let's see if this actually works look at that <laughs> that's very interesting so Today, I had to make a video showing the Wise Video Doorbell, which is, of course, a $30 doorbell from Wise. I posted an installation video that showed how to install this doorbell. I'll link that below as well as my unboxing video. Today, what I'm going to show you is the Wise Video Doorbell, as well as other Wise cameras, will work with devices like my Google Home Hub or my uh, Amazon Show thing over here that my girlfriend has. So, I have just went through on my phone, I've set this up, set this up where that it'll talk with my Wise cameras and Google Assistant was already set up to talk with my Wise cameras. So, quick tutorial of uh, each smart home item here. If you go into Google Home and uh, you need to add a new device, you will click your plus sign up here and then select set up a device it asks you if it's something new that's directly from Google or something that works with Google you would select works with Google you would find wise all the way down here at the bottom sign into your account and then your wise account will be linked with your Google account very similar with Alexa open up your Alexa app you go down here to devices at the bottom you click your plus sign up here it then asks you what you want to add. You add a device. It then asks you what kind of device. You can pick cameras or switch or whatever. If you select cameras, you scroll down to you find Wise. And then just follow these steps. Log into your Wise app, etc. And then the same thing. Your Wise cameras will be linked to your Alexa. And uh, before we completely get into this, make sure you click the like button for me, click subscribe to check out what else we're doing, and check out indulgeclothing.com for our merch. Now back to the video. So, now if you've checked everything off your list, if uh, you have your Amazon Alexa or your Google Home account set up, you have your Wise app installed, and then you have your Wise app connected to your Google Home account, or if you're using Alexa, you have the Amazon Alexa app installed, you have your Wise app installed, you've linked your Wise app to your Alexa, and now it can see everything. Here's some of the things that you'd be able to do. So let's see if this works. Ale Show me the front doorbell. Okay. So now it's reaching out to Wise to try and get the front doorbell. Never did this before. This is all real time. No, no cuts here. And there we go. Granted, it's sideways. The times, times over here. But I can actually move around. That's. Look at that. You can zoom in. All right. Let's try. Uh, a, show me the kitchen camera. Okay. So now it's going to go to the kitchen camera, which is the one behind me here. Let's see if there's like a lag. All right, you can see me over here. I'm waving my hand. All right, pretty good. Nice job, Alexa. The easiest way to do this and set this up um, is when you go to devices and you go to cameras, you'll be able to see all of your names, right? And so then you just put your keyword in front of it, which is most likely, and you say, show me the backyard camera or the driveway camera or the front door camera, and it should know exactly what to do. It's the exact same way in Google Home. They're named the same thing, backdoor camera, front door camera, etc. because it gets that information from the Wise app itself. Backdoor camera, upstairs hallway, driveway camera, etc. So if I come over here to Google, I can say, hey Google, show me the front doorbell. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. Interesting. Hey Google, show me the living room camera. Okay, streaming the living room camera on living room display. So, the doorbell does not work at all with the Google Assistant. And there we go. 
Now that was something I was not aware of. Uh, I've been able to use all of my WISE cameras on my Google Assistant devices without any issues at all. This uh, video doorbell is the first one that actually hasn't worked for me. Now I do know sometimes the integration with Amazon Alexa is a little easier than Google for some reason, so sometimes it takes a little longer for those features to come here, but I really thought you'd be able to do both. We have one other thing to try, which is my Chromecast with Google TV. Let's see if it can see the front doorbell. All right, let's see. Hold our assistant button. Show me the front doorbell. Edit. Streaming front doorbell on living room TV. Ah, let's see if this actually works. Look at that. <laughs> That's very interesting. So it works on my Google TV. It does not work on my actual Google Home device. Very, very interesting. It looks like it's about a minute behind, 1020. It's 1021. So it looks like there's about a 60 second delay maybe on this, but I'm very, uh, very confused. All right, so now let's uh, see how the call quality is. Um, with one of these. Let's give that a go. So whenever somebody rings your doorbell you get this message on your phone hi someone is calling you at the door and then if you select it it takes you into what's essentially a phone call with whoever's at the front door. So you should be able to talk to them and stuff like that. Let's see. Hit my phone button. Let's let me go out there. Let's see how this sounds. Make sure my volume's turned all the way up. It wasn't. Let's see. All right, so I have a package for you. Do you want me to leave it on the ground? Here's an audio video test of what this would sound like from your phone. Let's hope it's good. And uh, so now we're gonna hang up the call. So I must say I don't know how that sounded, and I will not know until I get into the uh, app and see. Now, as of yet, you cannot take calls from your Alexa uh, Echo shows. Um, you can just view the front doorbell camera on it, which for some reason you can't do on a Google Home device. If you have a Chromecast with Google TV, then, well, you can stream it to your TV, just not to your Google Home. Makes no sense. But that also showed you some of the video quality that you get whenever you're uh, doing like a communication with somebody who's at your doorbell. Um, I guess I would need to play some kind of speaker or something let me ch let me try and set that up all right so let's see we got our someone's calling us it's authenticating it shows us who they are we pick our button now we're talking and now i'm gonna set this to play let's see if this works so here's what the mic would sound like talking back to you just a moment Yes, uh, that's fine. Just leave the package on the front porch. Pretty good. Pretty good. From the looks of it, uh, these calls can be as long as you need. That call is a minute and 17 seconds, so I don't think there's a limit. All right, well, I think that will do it for this video. That hopefully showed you a bit of what you could do with your Alexa, with your Wise, and even your Google Assistant with your Wise. And also, hopefully, a nice little comparison of how these uh, sound, either when you're on your phone versus when you're at your doorbell. So hopefully you've liked the video. If you can, click that like button for me. Click subscribe down below and check out Indulge Clothing for our merch. And I'll see you in the next video. Deuces. It's a whole car meetup up here at the Quick Trip. <laughs> <laughs>